next section under configuration is secrets secrets are same like the config maps the only difference is config maps are used to store the application configurations and if there are any sensitive information rather than using config maps you will be using secrets for that you know, for an example if you have any passwords tokens ssh keys in that case you will be putting those configurations into secrets rather than using config maps there are three types of secrets that you can configure generic docker registry and tls generic secrets are used to store the username passwords tokens kind of information to create a generic secret you can use kubectl create secret generic then you can provide the secret name same like the config maps afterwards you can use from literal and provide the key value pairs in plain text and if you want to pull the secrets from a property file you can use the from file parameters as well you can export this secret configuration as yaml using minus minus dry run client minus o yaml and then save it into a file when you edit this file you can see that the values that you have provided has been converted into base 64 when you want to edit this secret manually in the file you need to make sure the values that you are putting are base 64 encoded if you want to encode a value into base 64 you can use terminal commands itself you can echo the value without the new line using echo minus n and the value then with a pipe you can pass it into base 64 that will encode the value that you have provided you can copy that value go into that file and then update it and then from the value to create the secret you can use kubectl create minus f or kubectl apply minus f commands in the same way if you need to decode a base64 value you can use the same echo minus n and the base64 value you can pass it into base64 with the minus d flag that will do the decoding rather than doing the encoding you can get the secrets using kubectl get secrets command you can describe the secrets using kubectl describe secret command and then you can edit the secrets using kubectl edit secrets command same like the config map there are three ways to mount these secrets into the containers in a pod you can use env from parameter and provide the secret ref with the secret name in that case all the keys that you have inside the secret will be the environment name and the value will be the plain text value of the secret if you want to mount an specific key of the secret with a different environment name you can use the env section and provide the what is your env name you will be picking up the value from secret key ref and you will be providing the name of the secret and the secret key third option is mounting the secret as files you can configure the volume in the pod spec section you can provide the volume name and secret and provide the secret name to mount the volume into the container under the container configuration section you can add the volume mounts and you can provide into which folder which path you need to mount the secret and within that folder path it will create multiple files with the key name and the content will be the values that you have provided within the secret in plain text the next type of secret is docker registry you can store your docker registry credentials in a secret to create this secret you can use kubectl create secret the type will be docker registry you can use your arbitrary name for the secret then afterwards you can provide what is your docker server what is your docker username password and the email address after creating this secret to ask a pod to use this particular secret to pull the images you can use image pull secrets and then provide what is my secret name in that case to pull the docker image it will be using this secret to authenticate with your docker registry next secret type is tls you can use this to store your certificate and the certificate keys inside the kubernetes secret to create this you can use kubectl create secret the type will be tls and the secret name minus minus cert and the certificate path minus minus key and the key file path then it will create the secret